and welcome to my video on the must-have game that you need in your online course. In this video, I'm super excited to share with you this scenario game as a way to really enhance and deliver a better online learning experience. So you've heard me say this often and very much repeatedly, this idea of an online learning experience. And the reason I repeat this idea of a online learning experience is because online courses really need to shift from the idea of just a course and another product to an experience. Because when we change how we deliver a product and a course from just the course to an experience, we end up getting more positive results from our customers, we see better retention rates, and we also see repeat customers. The reason is because online courses marketplace is competitive and it's easy, very accessible, and very low cost barrier for anyone to get started. So what ends up happening is everyone builds a course on a budget with Loom and there's nothing wrong with that. Course marketplace is very saturated. We're seeing low retention rates of three to 5%. And we're seeing a fatigue where people are just buying products but really not engaging and not really utilizing them and they're really just collecting digital dust. So when we can shift the product from just being a product to an experience that really gets customers coming back for more. I wanna emphasize this a lot because most online courses that I see that are sold at high ticket prices are mostly videos and really gorgeous worksheets and quizzes and that is definitely doable and that definitely works for some people there's a, an opportunity that we can do better as creators videos and worksheets and quizzes are great they don't really force and challenge our learners and customers to think and participate videos are great because videos can be played at 2x speed or one and a half you can always kind of multitask and i admit that i do that as well i'm guilty of multitasking and sweeping the floor and or like standing up and stretching while I'm listening to a video. And so the challenge is as a student and as a learner in that course, I'm really not engaging as much with the material as I would be if I was playing a game. So this is where I'm going to introduce the idea of a scenario game. This scenario game is really effective and really engaging because it not only challenges our learners and customers to think, but they're actually really participating in the experience rather than just sitting there and listening and just sweeping their floor or checking Instagram at the same time. I'm going to give you an overview of this scenario game and why it works for the audience that we built it for and how you might incorporate this kind of game into your online learning experience, whether you are using it in a software or if you're just building it from scratch, there's many ways that you can take this scenario game and make it work whether you're on a budget or whether you're really ready to hire someone to help you build this kind of game. So this course is intended for a uh, college student's uh, leadership training course. And the idea behind this simulation and scenarios, we really wanted to challenge our students. This generation of college students is much different than previous generations and they have shorter attention spans, how they interact with social media and what their needs and desires are for online learning and how it can support them in their roles as student leaders. And so it was really important to not just design an online course, but design an online learning experience. The reason why I say that is because college students, especially this generation, they're even more divided in terms of the issues that are important to them, even more shorter attention spans, and also they have different needs and experiences with online learning than previous generations. And so we wanted to be very intentional about building an online learning experience that wasn't just about videos and about quizzes, but it's really about building the kind of training to help them master the skills to become a successful student leader. And so that's why this game is really powerful and really impactful because the scenario not only presents different scenarios that they'll come up against as they embark on their journey as a student leader, but these scenarios really challenge them to think about what they would do in those situations, how they would lead, and how they would navigate these challenging situations. This scenario game really challenges them and really prompts them to think and it really gets them to participate. It's not just another quiz, it's not just another video, it's a game 
and we're asking you to go through different scenarios and challenge yourselves in how you would act and respond to different scenarios. This game that was designed in Articulate Storyline. And then at the end, I will tell you about other tools and software that you can use in addition to Articulate Storyline and also talk about how you can build this if you're on a budget and you're not familiar with Articulate Storyline and you don't have the time and resources to learn, but you want to build something similar. So this is the setup of my scenario game, and this is hosted in Thinkific. And at the end, I'm going to plug Thinkific if you would like to use my affiliate code at the link below. And so this game is hosted inside Thinkific. And if you're interested in checking out Thinkific as an LMS for your online course, there is a link in the description below. So let's get started with this game. As you can see, this student is presenting this scenario and like saying, okay, you're running for the student council elections and let's get started. And so I'm, so the game begins with a scenario of like, this is what's happening as a student leader in your experience. These are the kind of scenarios you're working alongside a team. And you get to choose from three different challenges. And this is important because we want to present the kinds of real life scenarios that the students will experience on their journey as student leaders and how they can better be prepared in these kinds of challenges. So the idea is they can complete one challenge and once they complete a successful challenge, they can come back and finish the next two challenges. The idea is not for them to complete all three challenges all at once. So let's take on this first challenge and see how I do as a student leader and see how all the training that has been presented to me so far, how that helps me in discerning how I would respond in these situations. So it asks me some questions and gives me the example, and now I get to choose what is the best way to go about this situation. So I choose one, and it looks like, okay, great, so I didn't do so well with this scenario, and that's okay. The idea is really not that I didn't get the right answer, or I didn't choose the best approach. It's like, okay, I saw that I didn't choose the best approach, so let me try again. And now they walk me through another scenario to see how I navigate this scenario. And the whole time I'm going through and progressing through these challenges, I'm really asking myself, okay, how am I doing as a student leader so far? It looks like I could use some more help on outreach, or it looks like I need more help with social media and recruitment. And where was that in the course? And where do I go back to refresh my memory on that? And so let's see, I'll choose this one. And the, it looks like I'm doing well, so I can keep going and proceed to the next challenge. I'll read it and then keep going and see that I've done decently well on that one. Continue again. And so each sort of scenario walks me through how I'm doing so that I can keep going and keep progressing. So I'll say how to react and I'll say the meeting is set. And there, I've completed the first challenge. And then after I finish that, it takes me through another challenge. So as you can see, it's walking me through. So the goal is that this scenario is walking me through different examples and challenging me and asking me how I respond. And then I get a score and whatever score I get, I can try again or I can continue. And then once I continue, I can pick the next two challenges to keep on refining my knowledge and refining my skills. So as you can see, I finished my first challenge and now I can continue on to the next challenge. And so we'll just take a quick look. And so all these colors are customized and the point is not that I can always go back and that's what really makes this game fun. I can start and stop at any moment and it'll resume where I left off. So let's keep going. And so whatever answer I choose will always prompt me and tell me how I could do better, which is really important because as I'm progressing through this training, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot that I can do better and it's challenging me and teaching me where I need to grow my skills.
the idea and the goal of this is really to challenge and help the students learn and master and grasp the skills that they will need to succeed as a student leader. Now, this was built in articulate storyline, but if you are on a low budget and you're not able to you know, learn storyline or hire someone to build storyline, the whole idea behind games is not about the software to build the games. It's about actually very, games are very simple. A lot of the games that we played as kids didn't have a lot of tools, didn't have a lot of fancy technology. A lot of the games that we played as kids were just using what we had in our environment. So kids like to play with rocks and they like to play with sticks and they'll just use what they had in nature. What's beautiful about this kind of scenario game is that you can build this on your own. All it takes is crafting the scenarios based on the material and the training and how you want to see your learners grow from these challenges. Write out different scenarios and make the instructions super clear so that your learners are following it from A to Z. So let's just say with organize and lead your first campaign meeting. You could just do this in a text. You could write out the instructions and say, okay, this is the goal, this is the setup, and what do you do in the situation? Do you choose A or do you choose B? And then after that, you can set this up. What am I trying to think? So what you can do if this, you want to do something similar, but without articulate storyline, what you can do is sketch out these case studies and you can put them in a text file. You can upload them as a Google doc and just ask people, okay, A and B, what would you do in this scenario? And then prompt them with discussion questions. And then based on how they answer, you can say, if you chose A, then this would be ideal in this situation. Or if you chose B, it may not be ideal for this purpose. And so the idea is you're still uh, facilitating a game, but in a more simplified manner and a lot more in a, a you're sim you're facilitating the same game but in a more simplified manner but incorporating a lot of questions and challenges so it is more time consuming but it can be done if you are on a budget so i hope this game was helpful if you have any questions about this scenario game feel free to leave a comment this can work for all kinds of leadership scenarios or challenges where people have to make decisions as executives or business leaders or student leaders. So it's not just for students, it can be for any scenario where individuals have to make challenging decisions or make decisions based on different scenarios. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, feedback, or comments, and I look forward to sharing more games in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.